Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. I'm going to start with this. The comments came shortly after the Russian state Duma introduced a bill allowing cryptocurrency mining and sales. Putin calls for blockchain-based international payment system. Now, right away, everyone was saying they're going to use Bitcoin. They're going to definitely implement Bitcoin into the system. Absolutely not. If anything, this looks good for XRP because the other BRICS countries are already using XRP. Look at South Africa, India, Brazil. It's just a matter of time until Russia gets on board with XRP as well. And I don't hate Bitcoin. My thing is, I hope it really takes off so the retail investors that got duped into it from Bitcoin Maxis can get some money out of it and maybe get away from Bitcoin for good. Think about it. You put in money now. What are you hoping to get? Maybe a 5, 6x at the most? You could go into any utility-driven altcoin and get a 50, 100x in the near future. That's why Bitcoin is no longer an option for me. But hey, if you think Bitcoin's a great investment, go ahead, continue putting money into it. But at the end of the day, it has no use case and no utility. As crypto companies collapse, calls for regulation in Africa are mounting. Now we see this in country after country. It's all about regulations now as far as crypto. Even Singapore's ambition to become a hub for digital assets might not work out because of its skeptical approach towards cryptocurrencies the co-founder of the Ethereum blockchain platform said. Now, I believe the U.S. already had regulatory framework put in place around crypto. I think they were had it done before FTX even collapsed because I think it was all planned. I still believe that. Pay attention to the narrative shift. People are now begging for regulations in crypto and people are now saying because of FTX, we need banks to step in and control crypto. This is all an inside job, I'm telling you. It gets clearer every day. We don't need banks to come in and take control of crypto. We don't even need the government to take control of crypto. We need some sort of law put in place to protect retail investors. But who's going to write that law? Because guess what? The CFTC is corrupt, the SEC is corrupt, and the government's corrupt. And the thing is, FTX was one big sham. It was meant to happen at the right time so they could come in and fast track a CBDC. Bankman Freed may end up in jail, says Mark Cuban. So the bil billionaire Mark Cuban says Bankman Freed should end up in prison. This is what he has just stated to TMZ. He claimed that jail is imminent for the former king of cryptocurrencies. I don't know all the details, but if I were him, I'd be afraid of going for to jail for a long time. The Dallas Maverick owner said, I talked to the guy and thought he was smart. I had no idea he was going to take other people's money and put it to his personal use. Now, I believe none of these billionaires that were talking to Sam Bankman Freed had any idea what was really going on behind the scenes. I don't think any of the celebrities knew either. But I do know that the government knew. And I believe the SEC knew also, plus policymakers. Part of Sam Bankman Freed's crypto empire contributed to a super PAC fighting for control of the Senate in the midterm election just days before the company's collapse. And it was both Democrats and Republicans that were involved in this. That's why I believe he won't see inside of a jail cell. So, photos inside the $3 million DC townhouse where FTX founder Sam Bankman Freed's brother hosted parties for his COVID 19 nonprofit. This is where the retail investors' money went. And the sad part of it is, a lot of people are now out of crypto and never coming back to it. A lot of people, this was probably their first investment into crypto, and look what happened. I believe Sam Bankman Freed should definitely go to jail, but I do believe that he will get a free pass from politicians. Someone out there will make sure he never sees inside of a jail cell. That's my opinion on it. As much as we want him to go to jail, he had too many political ties. I'm all in for defending dem dem democracy and against imperialism. Our inflation is not Russia's fault. It's the fault of our Congress having no backbone to say no. 
we have given them half of the annual GDP. Where is that money going? Into FTX, definitely not towards anything useful. Zelensky is addressing U.S. taxpayers directly. We need more money, he says. Pay for our economic deficit and send us more weapons, he says. Almost $100 billion in ta U.S. taxpayer billions went into this mess. Now he's asking Americans for the next $100 billion. This guy is a con artist. I don't believe any of the money that's going over there is going to the people. And the thing is, he keeps asking for more, even after what happened with FTX. I believe us as taxpayers paid for the Democratic Party's election. Breaking, a congressman tied to, the, to stop the SEC's inquiry, inquiry into FTX back in March. Five out of eight received donations from SBF and FTX, their names and signatures. Tom Emmer, Warren Davidson, Byron Donalds, Ted Budd, Darren Soto, Jake, I, I can't even say that last name, Josh Gothheimer, Richie Torres. Now here's the thing. It was Democrats and Republicans getting money from this. I believe Sam Bankman Freed was smart in one thing. Support both parties. This way, if it ever comes down to it, you have you don't have enemies on either side. That's why I'm saying I don't believe he'll go to jail. Too many people involved. This government is for one world government. XRP threatens that. That's why all the dirt you can find. Why it won't stop them from making sure XRP doesn't make it in the USA? Look what they are covering up now with FTX. Sam Bankman Freed is a free man and MSM makes him look innocent. And that's the thing. They're painting this guy like some sort of savior of the world. He was working to try to protect us from a pandemic. No, he wasn't. He was enriching himself off of the hard-earned money of retail investors. That's all that it comes down to. I don't give a shit what this guy was doing as far as future pandemics. I don't care if he was giving money away to charities. I don't care what the case may be. Because here's the thing. At the end of the day, he stole from hard-working people. People like me and you. Ripple versus SEC. SEC wants to play hardball, even though they have nothing. Fine, crash FTX. What does that matter to Ripple? If the SEC is allowing FTX deals with BlockFi, is the SEC not doing its job? How to save face? The clock is ticking. SEC in a corner. Tick tock. And that's what it comes down to. We are XRP holders. We're about to get the greatest reward of all of crypto in my opinion, because I believe XRP is definitely going to pull some high numbers very soon once this lawsuit ends. Ripple CTO says one important lesson from FTX meltdown will not be learned. So this is coming from David Schwartz. He says, the one important lesson that is really pretty obvious in retrospect and that I can say with total confidence will not be learned, he explained. If you hold billions of dollars of other people's money for an indefinite time period, the temptation to speculate with those funds is irresistible. If there aren't verifiable checks that make such risk-taking virtually impossible, nothing else will be sufficient. And that's what it comes down to. If you're holding billions of dollars of people's money, and no one's even checking up on that money, making sure it still even exists or hasn't been spent already, guess what's going to happen? You're going to take money on a daily basis to do whatever you want to do with it and hope the money keeps pouring in so you can keep the company afloat. And that's what it comes down to. The problem was too many people knew what was going on on the inside. And the World Economic Forum is the one I believe that really took down FTX. All tax money that blockchain companies like Ripple are paying in the U.S., as well as thousands of employees, will go away to other countries. The SEC case against Ripple has destroyed XRP and will critically impact the U.S.A.'s future economy. Imagine, USA tried to end the Internet. Now, I believe the U.S. is pushing technology out of the country, pushing innovation away when they're pushing against Ripple. I believe someone needs to come in and end this lawsuit already. Give Ripple, a USA company, a shot at 
pushing forward with innovation, pushing our country ahead as far as innovation. And the thing is, they do this to so many companies. That's why companies move out of the U.S. all the time. They figure it's easier just to start business up somewhere else. It's cheaper, most likely, in most places, and you don't have to follow a whole bunch of bullshit laws that the government creates to work against you. You could be fully transparent in the USA and still end up screwed in the end. The government is corrupt. The Democratic... Democratic Party is corrupt. The Republican Party is corrupt. The government agencies are corrupt. The judicial system is corrupt. Corruption is the problem. And that's what it comes down to. If you're fighting with someone else because of political reasons, maybe you stop talking to a family member or a friend or a co-worker, you need to put that away. The thing is, they're causing division in this country. You need to put an end to that division. Because guess what? There's corruption on both sides of the fence. And there's no winning unless you, we all stay together. Because division only allows them to do what they want and continue with the corruption. And at the end of the day, we get stuck with whatever they come up with and try to push on to the American people, such as CBDCs. Now's the time that everyone needs to get along, not stay divided. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.